If you've downloaded your iReady PDFs into your Files app, you may have run into this issue where you open something up and you think that you're going to hit markup, all the tools are there, and when you go to write, you get this message. That is because it's copyrighted. However, if you're doing this in Zoom, there's actually a really easy workaround for this. Again, I have it already downloaded into my files. So when I open up Zoom, I'm going to select a new meeting and just start the meeting. I'm not going to have the video on. So when I'm in my Zoom meeting, I can actually go to share content and I can share from my iCloud drive. And when I do that, I can select that same file and it's going to open up. I can use two fingers to pinch and zoom in where I need to. And then in the bottom left hand corner, you're going to see a little annotate button, a little pencil. Now, if you do not see that, go to zoom.us, go into your login, go into your settings, and make sure that annotate is on for the host only. If you don't have it on for the host only, the students can actually annotate on your screen as well. Um, sometimes that's great, but most times you don't want that to happen. So after I select the pencil, you'll see some different tools here. I can click on the color, and here I get my line width as well as the color. Very limited options, but great for just quick annotations. You also have a spotlight feature. Spotlight is what you think of your uh, laser pointer. So you can go ahead and read the questions out loud and show them where you're looking. And then I can click on pen, and this is where I can annotate here. So if I look here, seven, eight, two, one, five. Now, it's important to note these annotations do not stay. So if you want them to stay, a really great tip is to quickly just record your session. So over here, I can have the eraser where I can erase different parts. I can undo and your very typical, just different text boxes and such are all available inside this. You'll also notice I don't get that pop up because we're not actually annotating on the PDF. We are annotating over top of the PDF, much to the same as like a smart board. So that is how you can use the Zoom um, share screen content sharing on the iPad to annotate over iReady documents.